hello again my friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited today to bring you to Thompson's Beach in Cumberland County, New Jersey. We are going to be exploring the remnants of a town that was washed away by a giant storm in 1950. There's a three quarter mile access trail. We're parked here at the end of a Thompson's Beach Road. There's parking for about five cars and we're in the beautiful salt marshes here of the Delaware Bay on New Jersey's forgotten coast. So let's go for an adventure, guys. Let's hit that trail. Let's see what we see. It should be exciting, guys. Gator out. It's a beautiful and uh, actually rather warm day in early December here. And the gravel path we are on was once a paved road that led to the town of Thompson's Beach, which is on the, which was uh, located on the Delaware Bay, about three quarters of a mile ahead of us. It's so rare in this part of the country to find any place where you can have a sense of isolation. But walking out on this old road through this uh, salt marsh here, and knowing that there, there's only room for five cars in that parking lot. So that's the biggest crowd you're gonna get out here. And uh, this is a Saturday and there actually are a few other people out here somewhere. But if you wanna get away from it, this is the kind of place where you wanna go. Now, I, I timed this expedition to coincide with low tide because the tides are part of the story of how this place came to be abandoned, Thompson's Beach, the town. Um, but there are some reports online that this gravel road we're on, which is nice and dry and seems pretty high right now, uh, can be overtaken by water during high tide. Thompson's Beach was once a small but thriving community here in the Bay Shore, but a coalescence of conditions, a perfect storm of environmental and weather conditions happened in 1950 where the town was inundated with a tremendous high tide. Uh, there was a storm, there was prevailing winds, there was a full moon. All of these factors occurred at the same time and much of the town was flooded out. After the tremendous storm in 1950, the town was completely decimated. Most of the buildings were rendered uninhabitable many residents moved out. A few did, however, hold on over the decades. But one of the issues was the ever encroaching Delaware Bay and this road we're walking on now was constantly being flooded out every year. And the state and the municipality uh, just couldn't afford to, and nor, nor did they have the will to continue repairing it. And eventually the road became unsafe to navigate. And that was basically the final straw in sealing the fate of Thompson's Beach.
This is so cool, guys. What an absolutely beautiful sight. The bay is so still, it's like a lake. This location here must be a treasure hunter's dream. There's all manner of brick and block and masonry and old wood beams scattered along the beach here. It's so isolated, I can't get over how beautiful the water looks. It looks like this ice blue color. It's gorgeous. I think we're gonna get an amazing sunset here tonight. There's no particular itinerary here. And I've certainly never been here before, so I'm going to head first. I'm going to make a right and head down the beach that way and see how far we can get. Your primary residence here now are going to be your shorebirds small mammals, foxes. Um, I did already see at least one eagle or osprey, and there are several osprey nests in the uh, salt marshes, so we'll be on the lookout for them as well. This is awesome. This feels like a real adventure. Before I get too far into this video, I want to take this time to first say happy holidays to all of you and I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched and commented and subscribed uh, this year. I've, it's been an exciting year, we've seen a lot of cool stuff and got so many more great ideas planned for the following year. This may be my last video of 2021, that's why I'm mentioning this now. I want to say thank you to a couple YouTube channels that were gracious enough to mention me on their own channels and they're uh, some channels I watch and they're like YouTube friends of mine and they have great content as well and uh, if you like what I do you should check out Hiker Dude Dad he's a great guy makes very interesting videos com uh, covers a lot of the same topics I do also another channel I like is Random Adventures 2.0 a very well done very creative guy and uh, I enjoy all of his work. Also, another YouTuber named Mountains Into Memories. Uh, he has an RV and has a little bit different take on camping, but we have a lot in common and explore a lot of the same places. And of course, I want to also mention the Wandering Woodsman, who really needs no introduction to most of you if you're watching this. He's the uh, he's the big dog in Pennsylvania hiking and nature videos, and he was very kind to mention me on one of his videos a little while back and I'm very grateful for that. So make sure you check out those channels and uh, I may even be working with some of those individuals in the, in the future. So look for that. So I want to make the uh, distinction one more time. This is not like 
a scenic beach like the Bahamas. It's not where you're gonna you're not gonna bring a lounge chair and sit out and get your suntan here. But this again is the remnants of an old town swallowed by the sea. And uh it has historical and I guess architectural significance perhaps. There's an interesting mix here of sections like the one we're in now that are just full of, of rubble and masonry debris and then other sections of beach that are actually fairly open and clear and actually are somewhat scenic looking. Not this particular section here, but this is what happens when the sea reclaims the land. People lived here. People worked here, people died here. This is a true ghost town. We are entering into that magical time known as the golden hour. And it's a term filmmakers and photographers use to represent the hour to an hour and a half before uh, sunset and after sunrise. And this was when the, the coloring of everything is a, a gentle, softer, beautiful shade. So if you want to take videos and take films and make them look cinematic, try to film right after sunrise and before sunset. guys I was tipped off by a local resident who frequents this place and he told me to come a little bit further down the beach here to check this out this is the remains of an old house with a chimney we are going to actually sit in a former living room this is crazy Here we are on Thompson's Beach on one of the last remaining structures that is evident. This chimney here, this may have been a business or a restaurant or a very large home because it's, it's a large chimney, but this is absolutely spectacular. And where else on YouTube can you find content like this? So if you enjoy these videos and you know someone else that might enjoy them as well, please let them know. Thank you guys, I appreciate you.
about that time again. There's nothing really left to do here except to sit and watch this amazing, beautiful sunset that's about to take place. Thank you for coming along on another adventure. I appreciate you as a seagull flies by. Uh, I appreciate everyone who watches, comments, has subscribed, and um, like I said before, if you know somebody who would like to watch these videos, let them know. Help the channel grow through word of mouth. Um, I'm doing my best to bring you the very best content that I possibly can trying to take you to places that very few other people go to but uh it's my pleasure in doing it but uh if you can hit that like button and um until next time maybe next year who knows i'll see you on the trail thanks for coming along on another adventure gator <laughs>